Alright, so in the last lesson, we managed to get our, our little person moving left to right and jumping, and furthermore, when you press jump, just jumping once. Okay, and we sort of realize that if we click on our player, um, we can change some of his attributes, both in rigid body and his controller, such as this is the script we wrote, and we can change his speed. Uh, jump speed and you know gravity for example and um, just looking at the script it's really important that um, you know as potential game designers we need to be able to read and, and problem solve what we what we've done because you know we run into a lot of errors often it's little things such as you know this H needing to be capitalized um, sort of the color really helps us see where there's where there's a problem um, and likewise, you know, if I was to get rid of this semicolon, for example, and just save it and go back to Unity, in the bottom right corner, it will tell me sort of where I've got a problem. It says what the script name is, which is player controller, and this 11, comma 7 sort of says it's on line 11. So, sure enough, line 11, well, no, there's not a problem on line 11, but it's the line before where the semicolon is missing. So that sort of thing will help us um, solve some issues. Not sure if you also saw that this um, was all of a sudden red, basically indicating that it doesn't know what we're talking about specifically because we haven't really um, put it into a very good spot here. So anyways, let's just look at getting this all sorted out. The main things that we added were these areas here where we made that little box underneath our player we then did the check to see if that box glider that we've made underneath our player's feet is touching something. If there's an overlap, um, we then do the jump. And basically, we remember, we also talked about this double and, or the, the vertical strokes, and the differentiating that the double and equals an and. So we're saying, if you're pressing the button jump, so the spacebar, and it's grounded, then do this. And then basically, otherwise, you're not allowed to jump. Now, enough of the scripting for, for this lesson. Hopefully you've got this all working. If not, you need to just go through, spend the time, pause the video if you need to, and just make sure you've got everything written correctly. Also make sure you've got the, these curly braces lining all up. Um, we finish off with three at the bottom. And as I click around, you sort of notice that these um, other curly braces will highlight, indicating where it's stopping and starting. Anyways, enough of that. We're going to be looking at animating our player. So at the moment, when we play the game, he's just sort of cruising around. Oh, didn't fix that error. He's just sort of um, cruising around. And looks a little bit weird, quite frankly. Jump up and, you know, there's no no change at all. So we want to fix that. It's probably the first thing we need to do is bring in our animation page. So we click up the top and window and just come down to animation and we'll have a new tab basically we want to select this and just drag it in next to our console and we've got this new area down the bottom we've normally been playing with the project area but we've got this new area which is um, where we're going to be doing the magic for this one so to speak now what I'm going to do on the right hand side on my in my inspector area I'm just going to move that over a little bit and give myself a little bit more room here um, I'm going to select the project tab and just drag it over to the right so I can see it um, and I still obviously want to be able to see my game um, but I want to be able to see both my assets and my animations um, all at once. Now I might just quickly create a folder in here we're creating animations so let's create a folder and we'll call it animations. There's obviously one word but just make sure that you're naming it with only um, no spaces in anything. There's potentially going to be issues when you go to um, compile that. Okay, so we've made that sort of that blank folder. Obviously, it's empty right now, but that's okay. Um, next up, what we're going to do is actually create our animation. So if we click on player on the top left, and down the bottom, we can now click create. And on the right hand side, we should actually see a create animation sort of appear. Um, so in our assets animation folder, great. I'm just going to rename this, and I might call this player walk. Remember, just 
the camel case, no space, player walk. Uh, and we can see that that animator is sort of come in already on our player. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, so the next step is we want to find where actual art's going to come from. So we want to go back to our, our art folder and just expand the sprites. So I'm working with the, the pink sprite, this guy. So, oh, girl maybe. You want to just have a look through and see which one makes the most sense for you. I think for me it probably looks like these, these back two. And what I'm simply going to do is just drag one in, sort of anywhere will do, and it will just sort of kind of put it in place. And this sort of diamond that we've got here, I'm going to drag my other one in, and I want the diamond to n be next to but not overlapping. So that looks like it's you know it's not right on top of each other, but that's okay. Uh, and that should be okay. Um, if we just click on play now, well, I might just zoom in on my guy and we'll just see what happens. Click on play. We, uh, we can see it's probably going a little bit fast. Also notice that our controls at the top have gone to red. Basically that means that we're armed for recording. Uh, so let's not move our player at this time. So he looks like he's moving way too fast. So what we can do is use the sample rate just to slow him down a little bit. Sort of maybe I want to look at, I'm going to start with 10. Just press play and see what happens. Okay, probably still. Oh, that didn't save. Let's try it again. 10. Okay, and we notice that everything just jumped out a lot more. So hopefully this should be a little bit slower. There we go. Looks pretty appropriate. We can maybe slow him down a little bit more, but I think that's probably going to be okay. Um, what we want to do, I mean, feel free to have it play around with this. Let's try 4 for example. We're just hitting the enter button to lock that in place. There we go. It's a very slow walk. Um, I don't know. I think I might speed my guy back up, but up to you. It's your game. What you'd like to do. Okay, so that's all well and good. I've got that one animation and if I just uh, click out of the record button here, that will disarm that, which is good. Now, whilst I'm here, you can see that I've got player walk. Um, what I'm going to do is create another animation. So obviously we've got a few animations we might want to make up. Our character will do a, a few different basic things, such as walk, jump, and just sort of sit idly. So let's make uh, one for when he jumps. So to do that, we just click create new clip. Uh, and we'll call this player jump. Player jump. And let's find sort of an appropriate sprite. So let's look in that bottom right corner to show you what you're doing. No, it looks like climbing a ladder. It doesn't look healthy. All right. Let's go with this one. 87 for me. Maybe 86 even. And I just get him and drag him on. And don't really need to worry about the frame rate because it's just sort of it's either on or it's off okay so that's okay and we'll just create another new clip and we'll call this one player idle player idle save um, and just in the times when he's not doing anything we might want him just to you know make sure that he's looking forward so I'm going to use this 79 which is just slightly different to to the 80 where it's moving just ever so slightly um, or leaning just ever so slightly one way so again just make sure we've turned off record and that should sort of help us with our next stage because we're going to have to come back to this animations folder and um, we'll play around with these settings in our next video